Yeah, a long time ago, I mean, generations ago, my uh, parents, you know, very great grandchildren, I, I, but they all came from um, either Scotland or Germany. So yeah. it's, it's a. Aye, it, that's what I have in my blood. It's Scotch and English. And, that's right. Uh, yeah. that's basically... I can't even say I'm going to have a glass of beer anymore. I'm going to say I'm going to have a pint. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for a pint. <laughs> It's Sunday and it's busy. Uh -huh. Yeah. So welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> or should should say welcome home. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> home for how many years for us? Twelve, Twelve years now, huh? Yeah. Here? Yeah. From where? Oh, um, we. I was in Rochester, New York, and he was in Boston. And we got a job together, so we came down here. Are you educators? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah when you said New York, Boston, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. And 12, yep. So where do you, do you teach still? You're in academia still, or what do you do? Yeah, well, well I actually retired uh, last year. We're, we were at Vanderbilt together. Good. Congratulations. What did you teach? I'm going to let me guess. Economics. No. you. No. no. What? It's not, so far, not too far off. No, history. I should, have, I should have given you two more guesses, really, so that's, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. What about you? I also do history, and uh, uh, but I'm not retiring for a couple of years. Okay, well, good for you. What, uh, world history, American history, what do you prefer? German history. Yeah. German history? Yeah, that's how we met. <laughs> you both have German backgrounds? Or you just studied the... No, we just were interested in it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it is very interesting. And we also teach um, European history, you know, ge general surveys of Europe. So. Well, you got to fill up the schedule, right? That's right. That's right. Well, you must have a passion for it. Yes. You, you wouldn't go into um, teaching her if you didn't have that. And of course, we are... Um, we have to write too, so we're scholars. Yeah, but it's true. I, I, yeah, you have to be published, huh? Yeah, yeah. you probably do. But we're very, very lucky. I think we consider ourselves very lucky that we get paid a decent salary to do something that we love. So, no, not, not everyone can say that. No, they can't. Yeah. What's been the What's been the most rewarding part of your careers individually so far? Well. I mean, I think we, okay, for me, I, I like teaching a lot, um, but the older I get, <laughs> the least, less I like it. Okay. Um, because there, you know, when I started out, I was in, I was, I was in my uh, 27, and I was, you know, so I was their age, and it was... So you've been teaching, what, about 10 years now? Yeah. No. <laughs> that was humor. Uh, yeah. You, you said you start out when you're 27. I say you've been teaching all the way. Yeah. 10 years now. Okay. All right. Touch. Okay. That yes, one. Yes, yes, yes. He's, he's, he does wear glasses. You see that? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, these are actually just cheaters. They're readers. All right. So go ahead. I'm sorry I interrupted. I thought that you, I, I should have known my audience that joke would not uh, fly. All right. Go ahead, young lady. Yes. Thank you, young man. <laughs> yeah. I No, I want to read and write and so i'm trying to finish a book oh neat you write the book yeah yeah Another one. have you got a publisher already i think so um yeah you do have a contract i have a contract but if they don't like it they um say no um we're gonna no but this guy has written enormous amounts of books well you're quite published huh yeah, yeah. but it's but your question is a hard one to answer because it, the, the satisfactions, the many satisfactions have been spread across, you know, the, the books. Yes, uh, that's very, you know, it's very pleasing. But uh, some some of our uh, advice and PhD students who've gone on to make careers um, is very satisfying. And actually, some some meetings even at uh, uh, committees, I, I kind of enjoyed being part of yeah. self governance. And then sometimes. 
undergraduate classes just kind of catch fire and it's wonderful. Yeah, but that's right. Yeah, maybe not so much lately. Well, yeah. we're, a bit, we're a bit gloomy about present day undergraduate I would say. One, one problem is they're addicted to their smartphones. They're always on looking down on their laps where they have them on your, you know, lap screen. And they, and they're, I think they're very self-conscious much more than the times that I've you think that's a byproduct of social media I think so. scrutiny, you know, being judged constantly? Yeah. And they're all, you know, they, yes. well, some people are just have great personalities. They're friendly and they, they talk and they interact with people. Um, like, that's what you want to do. People, people who talk to each other and not just so. look at their phones. It, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's a real difference. Um, with 10 years or even five years ago, when you would go into a, a classroom or a, a lecture theatre before, a few minutes early and you'd maybe set up, and they would all be chatting to each other. And now you walk in and it's like being in church because they're all on their phones silently. Total difference. Yeah. Uh, much less communicative with each other. Yeah. So it's de depressing. Exactly. I, I'm sad for them, really. Yeah. I've been in restaurants yeah. where I've seen a family. Yeah. That I thought were praying, <laughs> their heads were all down yeah. like this, yeah. and they realized they were just all looking at their phones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Accepted. Where are you from originally, sir? I'm I'm from England, you know, originally, as you can. Call what area? Uh, come, come from Lincolnshire, but I lived for years in London. Okay. So, uh, but I lived in this country for oh, thirty uh, two years now. Look us up and you'll find lots of books on German history. Yeah, yeah. A long time ago, I mean, generations ago, my uh, parents, you know, great great grandchildren, I, I, but they all came from um, either Scotland or Germany. So yeah. it's it's a. Uh, it, it, I just want to have him be a Scotch and English and. That's right. Uh, I can't even say I'm going to have a glass of beer anymore. I got to say I'm going to have a pint. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for a pint. Yeah. I am retired from the entertainment industry, as you could probably tell. So. Yeah. What What did you do in it? I played music professionally for 46 years. I do some other things. What did you play? I play guitar and sing. I had success as a writer, as a songwriter. Yeah. Yeah. You still, you still write. Songs? No, I've, I've retired. I don't really do. Retired there's no money in songwriting anymore. There's no money in it. Is there's that, just none. Plus, I'm older now, and I, you know, it's, you know, it's. There's no expiration date on songwriting, but I don't know. Right now, I'm enjoying. I have other things that I do, yeah. and uh, I find more fascinating, journalistic almost. Yeah. My uh, grandfather was a journalist and an editor for a newspaper. And uh, he's he's long gone, but uh, I produce uh, a podcast here yeah. called Pod Six One Five, and I get to interview some really interesting people and uh, put that out. But this also yeah. is another show that I do called Riding with Willie. <laughs> this is a reality show called Riding with Willie, and I interview passengers <laughs> in my car right. in hopes that if it's a great story, they'll let me share it. My followers, do I have permission to share your story? I was going to say, are we being recorded as we speak? Yes, you are. Now, I would never use this content without express permission. I would never do that. I'm, I would I would be happy, yes. That's fine. I love your story. So I'm going to, you two met, had you read each other's works before you met? Um, it's it's slightly complicated, isn't it? The, the, the story we met... We met many years ago. We first met forty years ago, and um, in Germany, and, and, Germany and, and liked each other a lot. Just by happenstance, but, but we, or it, well, but through through our research. Um, okay. And I was a graduate student, and yeah. I was I was a young a, a young lecturer in England still. But we married other people, and then uh, but then we got together again. Uh, yeah. So yeah. it's a happy ending. Very happy ending. Right. Yeah. And we have children from our first marriages, which were good marriages. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, I don't know what it is. It's not the seven year itch or anything. It's just no. sometimes you 
Uh, may, maybe it's mid, like Pisces or, uh, you know, but, but I, anyway, yeah. we, we're very happy together. Um, and you ended up here together, both teaching at the same university. Yeah. It was a package deal. It was. Yes. Good. Yeah. And we and, and just in the last few years, we taught together for the first time. We taught a joint course on German, German history and through film in the 20th century. So uh, we had films starting with silent films in the 1920s and going up to to the present day. Really, uh, I would have loved to audit the class. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. It's fun. We got good. They were good students, so though some of them didn't talk much, but it was. Uh, but they were, they were very bright students. Well, they did that class. What's one of your favorite films from that class? Oh, um, you go first. Ah, uh, well, um, I really liked uh, the um, post-war ones. Uh, post World War One or post World War Two? World War One. Two. 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 two, two yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I think there was one. We had two. Um, German history goes after, you know, World War One. The, it's the Weimar Republic, which was um, um, uh, some, very good, some yeah. good experimental films. Like the, the, um, the, the cabinet, cabinet, of, um, cabinet of Dr. Caligari, which is one of the first um, films ever made. Um, and kind it's, of a horror film. it's a kind of horror film. Was, and then other other things that there, but we had two for the Nazi period. I have and, to because we were trying to yeah. get the history through the film. And one of them, and they were really different films. One was um, about, uh, it was a propaganda film about how horrible Jews were, um, but it was set in the uh, centuries long ago. And it was, uh, it was a uh, kind of drama about how a Jew came into a little nice, you know, happy uh, village or something, and he he tr he tried to seduce the, you know, the rulers. Yeah, it's a horribly it's good a horror. film. What uh, really good. what what year was this made? Uh, in the nineteenth, uh, no, nineteen forty-one, I think. Yeah, yeah it's forty-one. Called. So yeah. just right at the start of yeah. the yeah. America's entrance yeah. into the yeah, yeah. and it's really well made and it's, really really well acted well for that made. time. Yeah, but, but it's horrible. Yeah, I mean it's just horrible. And the other one was a musical, which is, um, which was, um, actually quite enjoyable. It's a, yeah. it's a Nazi propaganda film. Yeah, but that, they weren't our favorites. I mean, my no, but I, they were really quite interesting. And the uh, yeah, is that the uh. Yeah, Mel Brooks, of course, made a spoof called The Producers. Oh, yes. yes. I think basically got around that. My favorite, you probably, my favorite, I'm not moving in those circles where I would have access to those films or, or know about them, but Das Boot was, yes. to me, a brilliant film. It, it's, it's, I've, I've seen that. And you, you would agree or disagree? It, or? I, think, I think it's a good film, and it's very well regarded, actually, by the, by the sort of the academic film critics. Yeah. It's often, uh, it's often mentioned as a, uh, a landmark work. Yeah, it was a landmark work. Yeah, for me, I mean, yes. you, you know. I, I have a, a favorite film which I've used in teaching for years, and when we use it again in yeah. this course, and you love it, a, a film called Alice in the Cities. Alice in the, Alice in the what? Alice in the Cities. Alice it's, in... About a, it's, it's a 1973 film by, by a director called Finn Vendors, who it was his first film, and he later became very prominent. One of the, of the new, the new German cinema, West German cinema. Did you see the recent film from maybe four or five years ago about the little kid in Germany? He's being recruited by the young uh, uh, Nazi. Was that, was that oh. Jojo what was it Rabbit or something? Yes. What was it called? Yeah, uh, Jojo. Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit. Yes. Did yeah. you see that film? I saw it. I don't think you I saw it. it. No. No, it was really interesting. Um, there are a lot of ones now about Nazi, but not made in a Nazi period. We were trying to put them, well, actually, the one we did was, was a historical movie and made in the Nazi period. But I don't um, think we had any uh, post-war ones that were like that. But we just recently went to see this um, uh, 
Jonathan really? plays a fall. Yeah. Zone of safety. It's it's um. Uh, Which is about it, Auschwitz. Yeah. yeah. It's about Rudolf Huss and his wife and and family who lived uh, just outside the walls of the you know, of the death camp, and you don't see you. You don't see anything because they, you know, lived behind the walls. So it's it's a film which shows how they lived these very privileged lives, um, well, uh, of cut of cut off lives. from all the 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 uh, brutality and murder that's going on just on the other side of. I recently was introduced to a film, and I'm horrible names, but the, the two sisters, huh? The two that were Christians in Germany that were. Uh, uh, Heidi, they turned their home into a, a camp, uh, a refuge for. Uh, uh, there are a lot of stories like this. This is a very popular film. This was a, a theatrical release. I'll have to go back and research that and uh, yeah. get the name of that film again. It was a book that was later turned into a, a film. Yeah. Uh, sometime in the 70s, I want to say, maybe. The, the 70s was an era with lots of really good films that were sort of ser serious but also very entertaining uh, yeah. and well Alice in the City is his 70s and we, yeah, we have a couple of East German films and some West German films and then a couple from the post uh, fall of the war so from the late very late 20th and early 21st centuries yeah there's so. lots of them well, what a wonderful meeting you folks. It's been my pleasure meeting you, and I thank you for sharing your story, a little bit of your, your lives, and uh, I appreciate that.